Hello everyone. This group task requires us to pick the top two companies from a list of six companies that are listed in Malaysian Stock Exchange, uh, also known as FBM KLCI. However, there are two members of uh, this group that chose the same company, which is Shell. So, for our group, we will only have five listed companies. The five companies are those chosen by each member during the in-class exercise. In order to identify and select the best two companies, we have conducted some research on each company's shares, returns, variables, uh, such as mean, variance, and standard deviation, and also the covariance and correlation between the two companies. Hence, we have discussed and decided to develop 10 pairs of companies to examine the, per, uh, the effective portfolio and frontier in terms of risk and return. <clears throat> the pair with the most efficient frontiers and stock will be chosen as the main companies to be analyzed by our group. Maybank is a holding company that provides commercial banking and other financial services such as group insurance and takaful, group global banking and group community financial service. Maybank, with total assets of over 203 billion US dollar and a net profit of 1.98 billion US dollar for 2019, is the largest bank in Malaysia by market capitalization and total assets. Maybank has a global network of 2,600 retail banking locations and over 43,000 staff that accomplishes all 10 Asian nations as well as important Asian countries and a global financial center. Tan Sri quoted quote a businessman from Singapore who passed away in 2004 and Oh Jong Ye from Maybank. Tan Sri Amir Sham Abdul Aziz served as president and CEO of the corporation from 1994 until March 2008 when he was named Minister in the Prime Minister's Department in charge of the Economic Planning Unit, a position he maintained until April 2009. Tan Sri Abdul Wahid Omar served as Maybank Group President and CEO from May 2008 to June 2013. The Maybank Group's new President and CEO, Dato' Khairul Saleh Ramli, was named on May 1, 2022. Petronas was established in 17 August 1974 as the national oil company for Malaysia. Petronas are known as a petroleum national brand, but they changed it to Pet Petronas by using the acronym. At the end of the 19th century, oil was, di oil was discovered for the first time in what is now we call Malaysia. The gas processing business unit co converts natural gas from the east coast of Peninsula Malaysia, gas reserve into commercial gas and other byproducts including ethane, propane and butane. The Petronas Group has 103 fully owned subsidiary, 19 partially owned businesses and 57 affiliated enterprises as, as of the end of March 2005. Exploration and production, oil, gas, petrochemical, logistic and maritime, research and technology, and corporate sustainability are their main business integration elements. Petronas Board of Directors consists 13 person. The President, which is uh, Yang Mulia, Datuk Tengku Muhammad Taufik Tengku Kamat Jaja Aziz. The Chairman of Non-Executive Director is Tan Sri Datuk Sri Muhammad Bakir Saleh. Followed by Chairman of Audit Committee, which is Ainul Azhar Ainul Jamal, and Chairman of Nomination and Remuneration Committee, which is Datuk Razali Muhammad Yusof. This is the average return table of two companies named Maybank and Patronas. The highest portfolio is 14.12% on 1st November 2020. The lowest is negative 9.43% on 1st. March 2020. Next is the calculation for the mean, variance, and standard deviation. The mean for Maybank is 0 0.67, the variance is 0 0.003631, and the standard deviation is 6.03%. Meanwhile, the mean for Petronas is 1.47%, the variance is 0 0.008974, and the standard deviation is 9.47%. 
Covenant's values can range from infinitely positive to infinitely negative, but they are limited to negative one to positive one with a negative value representing a negative relationship and a positive value representing a positive relationship. Relationships are more dependent when this number is high. Changes in one variable are equal to changes in the other. Linear transformation of variables maintain a function's form when a linear transformation is applied. Covariance values in the positive or negative direction correlate with high commovement values in absolute terms, while low covariance values correlate with a low commovement values. The formula based on total beta returns of Maybank minus of average Maybank multiply by beta returns of Petronas minus average Petronas over sample size minus Correlation coefficients are numerical measures of the stretch of relationship between two variables. In general, the value of the correlation coefficient is between negative 1 and positive 1. The formula based on the slide shows. As shown in the table, Maybank and Pretonas have a correlation coefficient of 0.548250196. Both variables tend to decrease as the other decrease in the positive correlations, which indicates the relation is between the two firms. The mean variance analysis is a method that might be used by investors to weigh investment decisions as they might want some assurance that their money will grow and provide a profit. When investing in a risky asset, investors will expect that they will get a higher return. On the other hand, the portfolio standard deviation calculates how much the probability distribution of investment returns deviates from the mean. In finance, the standard deviation is a statical measurement of the relative riskiness of an asset. If the standard deviation is higher, there is more variation between prices and the mean. In short, a higher standard deviation indicates a higher level of risk and reward in investment, which increases volatility. Efficient funds is a set of investment portfolio that are expected to provide the highest return at a given level of risk. For our group assignment, we have decided to choose portfolio mix of my bank and Petronas as our best efficient funds here. This is because when we look at the shape of the graph of this portfolio, the curve met at the quadrant 1 as it shows this measure have given the highest return with highest risk and as we can look at the point k which is the last point at the curve even with the lowest risk it still can give us the higher expected return compared to other portfolio mixture the width edge of this two security also need to be considered at point f especially where the width edge for both companies maybank and petronas have method equally at 50 percent the standard deviation i mean risk lower compared to other portfolio mix while the expected return can consider a bit higher which is 1.07%. In conclusion, as our group have made decision to choose this pair of portfolio between 10 pairs of efficient funds here that have been analyzed based on 5 companies that also listed to Prosa Malaysia, it is essential to investors to use efficient funds here to make a portfolio before they invest as they need to know which pair of company can give the most out of the investment. By took a look at the risk and the return associated with an investment portfolio. Given that as individual we want profit and higher return, but considering the risk, we don't want to our capital to be concentrated on only one company. But this also depending on the investor behavior also, which can be risk adverse or risk positive. Thank you.